Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Throwback Thursday video. This time we're looking at the 1990 cult classic, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. This game is much more, well, interesting playing it in 2020. Anyways, I'm going to show you all the secrets on how to turn into a giant militarized robot. I'm going to show you all the tips on how to beat every single boss encounter. And I'm going to show you where to look for children when playing as Michael. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and obey. Next, I'm going to show you how to get to the secret level select screen. What you want to do with the second player controller is hold up and left on the D-pad, A, plus the start button. Then, on the first player controller, hit the start button. Then, when you start the game, it'll bring you to a round select screen. Oh, did I forget to mention that Michael Jackson can turn into a car and fly around the city like an Autobot? Anyways, let's start with the first level here, Club 30, which has three stages. Let's jump right in. There's three different types of thugs in this level and all of them can be bypassed with your sparkle kick. One for the guys in the blue, two for the guys in yellow, and one for the ladies who try to hold you up. And besides Sparkle Fingers move, you can also hold the magic button to throw your hat to kill things. You can use the magic button on the stairs to slide down them attacking your enemies. And when you come across ladders on the ceiling, just press up and attack to make them fall. As far as where to find the children, the first place you want to look is on the dirty floor of the bar. You might also find them hiding out in a window, or maybe they were put in a closet for safekeeping. Once you save the last child on the level, Bubbles the monkey will show up to take you to the boss fight. For the first boss, you just want to wait until they all gather together and then hold down the magic button until everyone starts dancing. It's that easy to beat this boss. Now I'll show you how to beat the stage 2 boss. For this boss fight, you just want to duck down by the pinball machine here and keep using your sparkle fingers. Next up is the stage 3 boss. This boss is defeated with a couple well-placed hat throws. And if it looks like he's going to land on you with a jump, just press the magic button to spin block. Now that we're done with Club 30, it's time to head to the streets, where things get much more exciting. But before we talk about that, let's go over the type of enemies you'll face. In the streets, you'll be up against tough guys, dogs, and these new SWAT team-like guys with weapons. As far as the children go, you'll find them behind shop doors and shop windows and laying in the middle of the dirty street. But wait, there's more. Order now and you'll find children on rooftops. Children in dumpsters. Children in the back of cars. And down in the sewers. Now remember earlier when I said things are about to get really exciting? This is why. In each level from here on out, if you save a specific child first, you can turn Michael into a giant mech fighting robot. Don't believe me? Follow the path I take in these videos and see exactly how you can turn Michael into a giant robot. You need to start by saving the girl in this window and then wait for the shooting star by this one. Just like promised, Michael is now turning into a giant mech suit robot warrior. He can shoot lasers out of his eyes now, fly around, he can also shoot heat-seeking missiles. However, he can't save children in this form. He can see where they're hidden, he can see they're behind the door, in the window, but he can't actually do anything about it, except run around and kill everything with his heat-seeking missiles, 
and his fancy laser eyes. So you just fly around and try to find the children and then wait for it to wear off. Well, now that I showed you how to turn into a robot on stage 2-1, let's talk about the boss fight. All these punks are going to come out, and you just want to stand over by the dumpster and only worry about the punks on the lower level. Once you're down to just the people on top, hold down the magic button until everyone starts dancing, and that'll count as a win. Now it's time for round 2-2. Two, two. This one all takes place in a parking garage. And to activate Michael into a robot, you want to head up to the top story. And in that car that that punk's sitting on, there's a child in the trunk. Open the trunk, save the child, and stand on top of this blue van. Once you catch the falling star, Michael's going to turn back into Super Mega Robot Happy Time. Now this is probably the least useful place to turn into this, as giant mecha robot Michael can't use any of the elevators. You also can't open any of the trunks of any cars, or save any children for that matter in this mode. So you just kind of hang out on the top shelf here and kill some people. We use some heat-seeking missiles, shoot some lasers from our eyes. And then you just have to wait for Michael to go back to his original form so you can finish the level by saving all the children. For the stage 2-2 boss fight, you're going to be up against a lot of SWAT team looking guys. And they're all going to have guns and be shooting at you. But you just get by this blue van here and duck down, and none of them will be able to hit you. Now let's turn into a giant robot here on World 2-3. Uh, on the second level of the parking garage in that blue van, you're going to find the child you need to save. And then the shooting star will show just above the red car. Once you catch that, you will turn into Super Mecha Mike. This level, it's a lot more useful to turn into a giant robot because you're not going to be stuck on this parking garage. And you should use your time to fly around the city and find where the other children are hidden. You can see there's one behind that door there, one behind the window, one on this rooftop, and one stuck in the back of that van on top of this parking garage. And this is going to wh where you're going to want to land when you come out of the Michael robot form because you can jump to that rooftop with the girl on it from this parking garage level. Now let's talk about the boss fight for World 2-3. This one is definitely one of the harder ones. I jump up here and this dog shows up. Hold down the magic button and you can make all the dogs dance. We have to take down that white dog though. And that wasn't enough strength, so we're going to try to hit him with our hat once. And that'll finish the level, but as you can see, just barely. Now that we've taken care of those punks in the city, it's time to turn back into a car and head into the woods. The last thing I want to do is scare anyone, but I should warn you, you're going to be up against zombies and red birds in the woods. Now as far as children go, you'll be able to find them under gravestones. You'll also be able to find children conveniently stuffed into bushes, or laying on the dirty ground, and underneath bridges. This time, to help you rescue the children, Michael's got a swing, a sparkle swing that makes rocket noises. You can also use it to take down enemies, as you're immune when you're swinging. But let's get back to level 3-1. 
You're gonna want to walk all the way to the other end of the graveyard for this one. Be careful to make sure you don't save any children until you get to the other side of the graveyard, because you want to save the child up here first. Then you're going to head to your left and catch the shooting star above the bridge. And now we're Super Mecha Mike, and we can really do some damage against those zombies and the red birds. You can see there's some children hidden in the bushes up there. And behind some tombstones. And that's all for Mecha Mike. Now let's go over the boss for 3-1. All they're gonna do is swarm you with zombies. Once you take care of the zombies on the lower level, you'll have to take care of the zombies on the upper level by jumping and using your sparkle fingers at the highest point of your jump. It takes a minute, so we're gonna fast forward. This time for round 3-2 if you want to turn into Happy Robot Man, just walk over to the second gravestone and check behind it. Then you'll jump up the tree to your left and wait for the shooting star. This level is a little bigger, so it might be smart to use this time to fly around and find where all the children are hidden. Or you can just stand there by that one child and ignore me. I mean, what would I know? Now let's talk about the level 3 slash 2 boss, who's a bit meaner than the other ones. First, just sit down and use your sparkle fingers to get past the first horde of zombies. These next two zombies you have to make sure to hit with your sparkle fingers before they jump and just stand there, or else they're going to split in half and launch half of their body at you. This fight definitely seems easier if you take out one of the zombies first. Stay calm and focus on the pattern and you can beat him in no time. Now in World 3-3, if you want to turn into the Power Rangers Mecha Sword, you just have to save that child up on the right there. After saving her, stand up in the tree to your left to catch the shooting star. Oh, well, look who's finally using the time to fly around the level and check for the other children. I wonder how they thought of that.
Now for the final boss fight of the woods, and this one has a nice little trick to it. If you can catch one of these zombies in the bottom right hand corner of the waterfall and then kneel down and keep hitting attack, your sparkle fingers will kill him in no time. Let's see if I can get this zombie over into the right hand corner. And there we go. In the caverns, you're going to be up against spiders and spider webs. You're also going to be up against those zombies and those SWAT team guys, but this time the SWAT team guys have laser pistols. You're gonna have to go into different caves, which are full of enemies. Here's another great example, because this is where you find the children, hidden in these caves full of spiders and enemies. You'll also find children hidden behind no dancing signs. All you have to do is dance to get through. And some of the caves have been sealed back up. You wouldn't even know it, but press up right here and you can see a secret passage is opened. This is a cave that got sealed up before, which you will find more children in. Also in this level, you can kick the rocks you see and use them as weapons against your enemies. Welcome to round 4-1, also known as the caverns. The caverns are a bit of a maze, so pay close attention to where I head and which child I save first if you want to turn Mike into a giant Gundam warrior. The child we're looking for in round 4-1 can be found above the waterfall. And while you're in this form, you can't go into any of the caverns or save any of the children, but you can fly around and see which caverns have children in them. I would suggest ending your journey as a Gundam warrior in the top left hand corner as I think this is the hardest cave to get to. The 4-1 boss is going to be a lot of SWAT team guys with laser rifles coming after you. What you want to do is jump around a little bit until you have as many of them on the screen as you can, and hold down the magic button until everyone starts dancing. That should be enough to finish them off. In round 4-2, you're going to want to get to the cavern right below where you start. It's where that spider web is. To get to the cavern, you'll have to drop down a little bit and then jump back up on the left hand side. Once you save this child, hop back outside and drop down one platform and get ready for the shooting star. As the Jet Jaguar version of Michael Jackson, you'll now be able to fly around and destroy all your enemies. Ironically though, you'll want to stay close to the beginning as the cave up here is the hardest one to get.
For the 4-2 boss fight, they're gonna send a ton of enemies at you. Spiders, zombies, everything. What seemed to help though was getting behind this big rock here and kicking it to use it as a weapon to help defeat some of the bad guys. For round 4-3, you're going to keep heading to the right until you come to a waterfall, just like in round 4-1, except this time we're going to go inside the waterfall to find the child to turn into Super Mecha Ultra Mega Mike. With the child saved, head back outside the waterfall and to the left to catch the shooting star. Once you're done flying around and destroying everything in sight, you'll want to end back where you started to find the children easiest. For the 4-3 boss, it's a lot like the 4-2 boss, they're just going to send a ton of enemies at you. Except this time you have a couple platforms you can jump on, and a rock down below to kick. I suggest hanging out on the platforms until you'll have a lot of people down below, then jump down and kick the rock at them. Besides that, keep moving and jumping from platform to platform to make sure you're attacking from a safe place. And that'll do it for the caverns. Now it's finally time to head to the enemy's hideout. In the enemy's hideout, you'll find everything from SWAT team guys with laser rifles to laser guns strapped to the ceiling. Children can be found laying on the ground or hidden behind secret panel doors. You'll also find children hidden in these fancy clean dumpsters. And to get around the enemy's hideout, you'll have to take advantage of these weird platforms that are actually teleporters. Now let's get back to the walkthrough and more of how to turn into the Mecha Godzilla version of Michael Jackson. The first thing you're going to want to do is head to the right and down two flights of stairs. Then you're going to hang a U-turn and head back to the left until you find a teleporter disc. Once you save the child on the floor, jump off to the left and stand by the computer. At the enemy's hideout, when you're flying around as Super Mecha Mike, you're going to want to actually destroy as many of the computers and the laser guns up on the ceilings as you can, as those things won't come back and make it much easier to reverse the level searching for children. To defeat the round 5-1 boss, you have to run back and forth quickly and attack at the last second. If you do it correctly, you'll notice that your sparkle kick actually attacks twice.
All right, now let's talk about how to turn into Voltron Mike in World 5-2. Luckily, the child is right in front of you. You just jump up on these platforms and then open the sliding door here. After that, go back to the dumpster where you first started to catch the shooting star. And don't forget to use this time to fly around and knock out as many computers and laser guns strapped to ceilings as you can. Before you fight the boss on this level, you need to make sure to knock down the laser cannons up on the ceiling, otherwise the fight's going to be much more difficult. My advice for the boss here is to watch their guns and see when they target something. Once they target something, jump to a different level to avoid their laser fire. For round 5-3, there's not a specific child to save first to turn into the Iron Giant version of Mike. Instead, it's going to happen automatically once you enter the boss fight. Careful not to be too careless, you are vulnerable and can still take damage and die in this mode. <laughs> 